going on everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. For any of you guys that are new here, my name is Levi. And today marks day five of the 75 hard challenge. We started on Monday, which was day one, and today is Friday, so that marks it as day five. So we're about to hit our first workout of the day. And we're gonna be doing some back and some shoulders. Should be a good workout. This is one of the last workouts on the current split that I'm on before we change it up and get into more so a powerlifting style sort of workout routine, which will be pretty exciting. I'm going somewhere next week, like on a vacation, so it'll be a nice easy transition to switch everything up. been training for strength more so I have noticed like obviously strength gains and so yesterday I had leg day and I squatted 405 for one which was the first time I had squatted for 405 in almost two years I have a two-year comparison and I'll set them side by side up on the screen it's insane it went up really fast I'm really happy about it the thing is is I still haven't deadlifted though so we'll get into that if you guys have any deadlift suggestions let me know down in the comments like basically just tips because I suck at deadlifting I'd say that the weight is moving a lot easier than I anticipated today overall today has been a very good look. physique update for you guys just to show you guys where we're at I weighed it 172 for two mornings in a row so just kind of steady but we've definitely gained weight gained some size and gained some strength so and by the way this isn't like the best lighting possible in this gym <laughs> I would say that this is probably one of the better physiques that I've had on a bulk for sure. The only thing that's weird though that was lacking was my legs. They just don't have the same shape that like I'm used to seeing at least in the past. I don't know if it's because I've gained weight or just because I, I don't know. I just feel like my right leg used to have so much better shape in the past than it does right now. I don't know. It could just be obviously in my head, just body dysmorphia. That's going to wrap up for the first workout of today. Actually, a lot of have abs. So another bulking meal I've been having for dinner because not every night I'm able to eat with my family. This dinner, I don't know why all of a sudden shrimp just sounded really good to me. So I'll do some shrimp, two tablespoons of olive oil, four I think actually, and I'll add an extra one in there while I'm cooking it with some spinach. And then I have about a couple servings of pasta. Pasta is going to be all for one serving. So I have shrimp and pasta with spinach and olive oil. It literally has your fats, your carbs, and your protein. By the way, guys, I know I've said in the past, like I just eye my food out. That kind of wasn't working anymore, so I got a scale. 227 grams of pasta. That's exactly pretty much how much we need for this because this meal right here is about 720 calories. 100 grams of shrimp. This is what it looks like. Literally just shrimp, pasta, and obviously the spinach got smaller as it cooked with olive oil. It's super good. I like it. It's easy to eat. I'm not also eating for flavor at all. The only flavor that's really in this, this Alaska salmon seasoning. Obviously this isn't Alaskan salmon, but it kind of has like that fishy sort of seasoning flavor. So it kind of complements the shrimp really well. I want to show you guys that to give you guys a bulking meal idea that you guys can use if you're bulking right now, or maybe you can even use this if you're cutting, but it's just a higher calorie dense meal. I have to go hit my second workout today since we're doing 75 hard. So I'm going to go do that. This will be for later, obviously for dinner at work. I want to mention, cause if you guys do decide to make this, I know some of you guys might want to meal prep this days in advance. Don't meal prep seafood too far in advance so don't make a whole week's worth of this dinner because it's gonna go bad faster than like normal food would especially something like chicken or beef which can last a lot longer in the refrigerator i don't know what it is but seafood just doesn't have a tendency to last as long as those other meats do today's 45 minute workout outside i'm going to be doing 
jump rope and also abs because I did not have time to hit abs today at the gym because I was just running out of time in my day. Whenever I'm like recording and then I have to get a workout in and then I have to go to work, like there's just not enough time to do things sometimes. So this works out perfectly because there's a park near my house so I could just do my whole ab workout. Actually, that's gonna be it. I also included the time that it took to walk here and then the time that it takes to walk back, which is like a total of about uh, 10 minutes. So I have 35 minutes of ab work and jump rope. up the outside workout it was it was all right it was a good workout I would definitely do something like this again for sure if you guys are wondering yes I include the time that I have to like set up my camera and all of that as part of the workout because if I didn't I would literally be out here for you know way more than 45 minutes probably like an hour and 30 so it just depends because as you guys saw I also got a drone shot to be honest like it sucks I would say just being alone most of the time recording because it just takes up so much time and this job and stuff that you know I have to debate on whether you know I have to leave that job or not to continue pursuing this because it is definitely interfering with this because it'd be like midday you know and I kind of want like a whole day to record because it's nice and then sometimes I have to carry over I'm not complaining it just is what it is and just kind of figuring things out but being alone with this is kind of probably the worst definitely miss the times James and I had together and everyone in Houston that's for sure I don't know if you guys know but I'm wearing a different pair of shorts than I was prior to coming out and doing this workout just because my other shorts were just dirty and they literally smell so bad and instead I'm wearing one of Edge's new shorts that they came out with just a couple of weeks ago they're like a compression short they're super comfortable have like a foam pocket in them so if you guys are interested in those shorts go check them out code Levi for 10% off I don't know how many of you guys know this or not but I would say throughout the course of this past year or so I've just dealt with quite a bit of injuries and it honestly became a little concerning to me over time just because it started to become really alarming to me because you know you want to keep improving with your body like you want to get stronger you want to get bigger you want to get faster you want like the whole nine yards right but at the same time you have to focus on recovery as well because if your body can't recover then it can't get to that next stage one of the issues that i kept finding myself in was injuries and i would never explicitly say on the channel every time i was dealing with an injury i might have been like oh i'm doing the hack squat today because my back hurts but like I would literally have serious injuries, like injuries where I'd have like a small tear in my back. Like I have a disc in this left side of my back that has a small tear in it. Not right now, it's all healed up now, but I'm just talking in the past, like I've literally had that. I actually started doing nightly yoga and there's this video I follow and I'll literally put the link for the video below. And funny enough, it's on YouTube, which obviously I'm uploading on. Maybe you can incorporate them into your maybe daily routine. Just take about 30 seconds for each stretch. probably wondering why I took you guys through a stretching routine considering the fact that it's something that I personally need to do for my own injuries and whatnot but guess what I know the majority of my audience is a younger demographic so I wanted to kind of more so teach you guys something about you know lifting and working out as a whole and it's that you really need to take care of your body and if you want to prioritize lifting weights you also have to prioritize self-care and caring of your body because guess what your bodies weren't made to you know bench 225 pounds your bodies were made to do you know they were just made to survive okay they weren't made to go out and like you know out in the wilderness and put on you know two wooden cinder blocks onto a stick and lift it anyway, that's gonna do it for today's video today is like day six of the 75 hour challenge so 
we're still making progress in this challenge. It's been actually pretty fun. I just like getting out every day. That's probably the favorite part of the challenge is just getting outside. But yep, like I said, it's gonna do it for the video. I'm really tired. I have no idea honestly what's going on right now other than the fact that I'm doing my outro. So if you guys like this video, be sure to give it a like. If any of you guys are new here, do not forget to press that subscribe button because you guys know we'll be back. And as always, this guy.